<laughs> uh, get a running start and just come off this. Cap Brown this ledge here. Challenge. I might have to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned. Hey everyone, we're on the road again and driving up to one of our favorite areas, the DuPont State Forest in North Carolina. Our plan is to camp here for a week at the Black Forest Campground near Cedar Mountain before we head out west. It's July, so it's hot in the south. So we're keeping our mountain bike rides short each day. We're anxious to get to some cooler weather at higher elevations as we move into late summer and fall. And as we head out west, we hope you will follow along. This video includes a little bit about the Black Forest Campground and our first day mountain biking on this trip where we met up with a friend of ours, Don, who just happened to be camping in the same campground as us. In the days to come, we hope that his wife, Linda, will join us on a ride. To get to the campground, you turn off 276 between DuPont and Caesars Head. You climb a gravel road up to this white house where you check in, and there's a small general store inside. So sit back and relax, and I hope you enjoy this short video and leave us a comment. Consider hitting like and subscribe if you want to follow us on our adventure. Happy trails. So here at the uh, Black Forest campgrounds on Cedar Mountain in North Carolina, some really nice campsites. A lot of empty sites, um, which was a little bit surprising. Maybe a little bit more expensive uh, than some places. I think we're paying $45 a night. So, but anyway, you got that's full hookup, including uh, water, electric, and sewer. But look at some of the neat little features around here. This campsite, it's got this cool little rock ledge. A little cave up in there. Yeah. So we've really enjoyed uh, camping here at Black Forest uh, Campground in Cedar Mountain in North Carolina. Uh, it's very close to DuPont, which is great for recreation, mountain biking, hiking, sightseeing, uh, swimming in the creek, at waterfall swimming, absolutely. Um, and it's not too far from Brevard, one of our favorite little towns. And uh, anyway, hope you like this video. Um, if you do, leave us a comment. Uh, let us know what kind of content you'd like to see and uh, maybe tell us a little bit about your experience up here in Brevard and mountain biking and uh, the DuPont uh, State Forest.
There she is. Yeah, you got it. Man, the trail is pristine. I always forget about those braking bumps. I always forget about those braking bumps. Yeah. <laughs> Did you smoke them? Uh, they said you, you haven't done that trail unless you go down without brakes. <laughs> That's pretty much the way you ride. You know, for an intermediate, I did pretty good on that one. So we're trying to figure out where we want to eat for lunch in Brevard. Um, what's your favorite restaurant in Brevard? We've got a few that we really like that we can take back for two. Yeah. Magpies is one. Yep, magpies, meat El and El Ranchero is a, a good Mexican restaurant. And Mayberries. Mayberries. For that. We love Mayberries for lunch. What is that sandwich we always get oh, there? That, for, uh, um, pork. Yeah, it's like a delicious sandwich. Yeah. I never can remember what to try. There's the brewery, Oscar Blues.
So we just ate at Mayberry's, um, had the ginger pork sandwich, which is always delicious. And because of the COVID-19, they've got, um, everybody's pretty much wearing masks around town, which is good. And they actually cordoned off an alley uh, with tables, which is really cool. Um, so you do your out outside dining uh, with your puppy dog. And uh, Mag Magpie Meat and Three was closed. They opened on Wednesday. Today's a Monday. So we'll try them later in the week, hopefully. But now we are going to take Pepper up to one of our favorite little secret creeks that we're not going to divulge <laughs> so that he can swim. But uh, maybe if you really must know, we'll give you the coordinates. Yeah, the, the top secret coordinates. Yes. And of course, if you're a mountain biker and you ride in this area, is. when you see the video, you're going to know exactly where we are. So if not, you're out of luck. You. Was this for me? Yeah, I know this, uh, rock feature back here looks like something that we should try with our mountain bikes uh, get a running start and just come off this this ledge here um, and I would I definitely would but the run out there's just no good run out here off the rock so so we'll, we'll save it for another day it does look like maybe an easy maybe an easy landing over here yeah you could you could I might have to do that. Campground challenge. I accept. Hmm. Run up is kind of interesting. Not ideal. I've actually found a little line down it that I, I might be able to do. No, on the far please. side over here by the tree? No. <laughs> oh boy. Until we see you next time, happy trails.